Shore time means finishing on Friday is as good as finishing on Tuesday. What shore time means to me is when the task is done, I'm done and I'm done. Shore time means I can build you a house out of 550 cord and duct tape. You wouldn't want to live there, but I can build it. Wanted. So I, I stopped kind of the three shot well, series and turned it into three shots in one. But like you said, that's more editing for you. Now, it, it, <coughs> at the end of a shot, right, you're taking a shot and you do this and then you hit it down there. That's a natural wipe. I don't mind that. That, right. that, that can actually help in certain circumstances. But putting it down. Walking walk to the other side, there, framing your next you know, shot. Picking your seat in a Rice crispy, calling on the phone I mean, meanwhile the whole thing is rolling that's that's just not that's a right. pain in the ass. right but that's really only a glimpse folks let's fully get back to this week's episode we're going to readjust our priorities a bit on uh, the project board we're pushing a few things back but this weekend our goal is to put uh, Jezebel the mini mic completely done and on the market and to finish Stevie for next weekend first things first let's get back to Jezebel the mini bike and the mystery of that exhaust pipe fitting. That, again, you can tune these exhausts to what's best. It may be they needed that length, and to keep it that length and come out here was just ridiculous. So they needed the length. That's what she said. <laughs> length, girth, whatever. What's really important is how you use it. And the factory did an absolutely terrible job at welding their pipe. The weld is so fat, in fact, that I can't even lay a nut on it to fasten it. You know I'm talking about the exhaust pipe, right? that pesky exhaust system bracket out of the way, it's time to head back to Stevie and for Curtis to do what he does best, tune the carburetor. And of course, with shore time, one carb is never enough. So it's back to Jezebel with parts and hardware that don't fit. Can't get what we need, so we're gonna thread this rod. But to make sure that it's gonna fit, we're first gonna take it to the belt sander, let the belt sander run and spin this rod and slowly move it down. And then we will uh, die thread that on both ends to be our new carburetor stud. Pretty sure you're wondering why on earth it is that we're making bolts instead of buying them at, say, McMaster Car or headed to the hardware store. The truth is, on Saturday night when the hardware stores are closed, we keep going. We make our own bolts to meet time oriented goals. Moreover, Curtis and I are just too stubborn to stop working. We get a hold of a problem and we go until it's done. And that's what really makes shore time, shore time. And not for nothing, the bolts we make are actually better. They fit the first time.
So over the last couple of weeks, we actually made quite a bit of progress on both the mini bike and Stevie the ATV. Uh, we did get a bit of interruption last weekend when it rained, but we made up for that during the week, which we didn't film. We should get a start on both vehicles this weekend. Actually, Stevie's basically ready. The carb has been tuned without load. All the major systems are installed and we're in the beta testing phase. All we're really gonna do right now is slap her together enough to ride her and make some small adjustments to the carburetor, to the suspension, to the brakes. You get the idea. See if it's a Karen. <laughs> After that last bit of fun, including a run-in with a Karen, it's time to dial Stevie in. The carburetor took maybe a quarter turn of the air fuel mix, and the suspension was just a few turns of the threads on the shocks, and she was dialed. The only thing really remaining is to finish those brakes by blading the lines. But while Stevie is almost finished, this episode already is. Like, subscribe, and get notified, please.